Hey, what's up, everybody? Doran Aldana here coming at you with another kick-ass episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. And today we're going to talk about three key lead generation sources, the top three best mortgage lead generation sources that are levels above the rest. They're not even in the same ballpark. They're not even the same universe as the mediocre majority. So if you're a mortgage professional, mortgage broker, loan officer, and you're wanting to earn more while working less, you've come to the right place because one of the absolute best ways to earn more while working less is get better quality leads that are easier to convert. They're more juicier deals with bigger commissions, bigger transaction sizes. They're less rate conscious, more fun and fulfilling to work with. The better quality of the lead, the better quality of your life. That's worth writing down. And that's why so often I see in my Art of Mortgage Marketing Facebook group, we have 14,000 plus members there. We got new members coming in every single day. And so many people in the entrance survey, as well as in the postings on that group, in that group, they continue to reveal to me how clueless people are when it comes to this principle, because they're going to ask questions like, Where's the best place to get refi, to buy refi leads? Where is the best place to buy leads from? And just by virtue of that question, it reveals to me that they have no clue how much time, energy, and effort and money they're leaving on the table and hemorrhaging on a daily basis by chasing chaff just to find a few gold nuggets to maybe convert one or two or three out of 100? Or would you prefer to work with 10 buyers that are hot for what you got, that are high qualified, that are pre-sold on you before they even talk to you and convert five to eight of those. Obviously, it's the no-brainer of the year, right? Obviously, it would be the latter versus the former. That's just a no-brainer. And yet, so many mortgage professionals just don't understand that principle and it keeps them stuck on the guinea pig wheel trading time for money on the time for money treadmill, working way longer and harder for way less than they should or could. So that being said, let's get into it, shall we? The top three best qualified, best quality mortgage leads, where do you get them and what has them being so much better than all the rest? That's what we're going to dive in today. So get yourself ready, seats in the upright position Buckle up, Buttercups, because we're about to give you some of the most important information you can ever have to get you on the right track, the fruitful track, the prosperity track in your mortgage business. So the first lead source, the absolute best lead source, whether you like it or not, whether you know it or not, is top producing realtors. Say what, Doran? Are you kidding me? I hate working with realtors. They're abrasive. They're apathetic. They're arrogant. They're, they think their shit doesn't stick. They give me attitude. I hate working with realtors. That's kind of like the person who says, I hate sex. You're probably doing it wrong. It's not that realtors are bad or that working with top producing realtors is bad. It's that you just don't know how to do it right. You're doing it the hard way. And that's hard to embrace for a lot of people because they're so caught up in their story that their perspective is ultimate truth. They're so caught up in the five you know, dipshit realtors that gave them flack that now they're gonna paint all realtors with the same broad brush. And now they wanna be right about it and make that their story. And the interesting thing about being human is you can have whatever story you wanna have, you can weave whatever story you wanna weave, and you can embrace whatever truth you wanna embrace. At the end of the day, if you believe it to be true, then it will be true for you. As Henry Ford said, whether you believe you can or you can't, you're right. But Truth be told, most mortgage professionals will balk at the idea of going after top producing realtors because they've had a bad experience. Why did they have a bad experience? Because they're doing it the hard way. They're chasing, begging, bribing, groveling. They have no unique value proposition. They wonder why these realtors don't give them the time of day. Well, wonder no longer, friends, if you bring the same old, same old, great rates, great service, throw me a bone, you're going to get the same old response, which is thanks, but no thanks. I already have a lender. And you're not going to have any way to get over that obstacle because you got nothing compelling, nothing unique to bring to the table. 
you're just bringing the same old, same old, being an average Joe LO. And if you show up like an average Joe LO, you got to be no one. They're going to see you as what everyone else does, which is coming to get, not to give. Coming to be a proverbial loan leech to suck them dry of loans or rather clients that need loans. Either way, they see you as a leech. They see you as an unwelcome, annoying pest instead of a welcome guest. And we got to flip the script so that you're able to pick and choose the partners you work with. We got to flip the script so that you're in the power position. And that's precisely why smart, ambitious, growth minded mortgage professionals work with us at mortgagemarketingcoach.com and why they hire us is to learn the secret sauce on how to do that. Because if you hadn't noticed by now, it ain't easy to crack the code on that, is it? I mean, it doesn't matter if you've been in this business for one day or one decade. It is not an easy code to crack. Most people will be in this business for one, two, three decades and never crack that code. Now, I've been doing this for 16 years, focusing like a laser beam with my blinders on, on this one thing for 16 years. You got to be knowing, even if I'm a complete clueless nimwit, after 16 years of focusing on one thing, eventually it's going to start to reveal its secrets to you. And this is certainly no exception. It's called relentless pursuit and pursuing mastery in a very narrow area of expertise. And that's why we have top producing and even newbie mortgage professionals hiring us to crack the code so they don't have to bang their head against the wall and spinning their wheels trying to figure this thing out on their own, messing with the Rubik's Cube to no avail and never getting those colors to line up. They just want to stick their key in the ignition and drive away. But the principle here, guys, the principle that will absolutely be the difference that makes the difference for you is understanding, number one, there is no faster way to grow your business than getting a small, solid stable of six to 12 top producing realtors who do 20 plus transactions a year who are sending you one, two, or three deals a month. You do the math on that, doesn't take many of those to stack up in a hurry. Doesn't take many of those to change your life in a hurry. True or not true? You gotta be knowing that's a game changer when you just get a small, select, solid stable of those rock stars. Now, you might be thinking though, Dorn, how am I gonna ever get them? They're already married to a lender. They already have a lender. And, you know, they won't give me the time of day. Well, that's exactly the secret sauce we bring to our clients is how to get the appointment, how to do the appointment and how to get the appointment without the hell of cold calling. You know, so many so-called mortgage marketing coaches out there will tell you what you need to do is pick up the phone and cold call 40 freaking realtors every Monday. And they think that's the smart way to do it. They think that's the secret sauce. No, that's called doing it the hard way. That's called caveman methods from the dark ages. But Dorn, I know people that make millions of dollars in the business who do that. Yeah, that's because they're doing it in spite of the fact they've been doing it the hard way because they've got a big ass database of past clients that are getting repeat and referral and refi business from. They've been in the business for a long time. They got a lot of momentum and that shit used to work 10, 15, 20 years ago. It doesn't work anymore. You know it and I know it because if you've been in this business for more than a day, you know that to be true. You've tried it. You know that they're not even picking up their phone half the time. How do you get their attention? What's the hook that actually gets them to say, hey, yeah, I'm open to a meeting. What's the hook that gets them hot for what you got? Well, that's the secret sauce we bring to the table. So the key, though, to this whole idea here inside of the topic called the best lead generation sources is most mortgage professionals have a presupposition that Top producing realtors are too much pain in the ass, too much annoyance, too difficult that the juice is not worth the squeeze such that they don't even bother pursuing that as an option. You know what I mean? It's like if you don't think that you're going to get much juice from the squeeze, you ain't going to squeeze the fruit. But when you have unlocked the secrets on how to get maximum juice from the fruit, you're going to be squeezing all day, every day. What other potential referral source can send you more deals with more zeros and commas in your bank account more often than a top producing realtor? You tell me one. I guarantee you there is no other. There is no other. What other partner can send you one, two, three, one to three deals a month consistently, month after month, in the recession-proof purchase business versus the 
you know, only during sunny skies, lollipops, unicorns, and, ref or, and, and rainbows, refi booms with refis. Refis are great, but if you're sitting on a one-legged stool with 50% plus your business and refis, you got a problem as soon as rates go up, right? You're sitting on a one-legged stool. You're, you're about to get caught with your pants down, scrambling to recoup 50% plus of your income. That is not a real business. That is not a recession-proof business. That's a let's ride the high tide and let's pick the low-hanging fruit, but you're about to get chewed up and spat out if you don't get a solid base in the purchase business. And again, that's a big reason why people hire us is to be able to have the shortest path to the cash to do that by attracting a small select elite rock solid stable of top producing realtors to make you their exclusive without the hell of cold calling and to flip the script so that they need you more than you need them. Right now you're in the power position. Now you hold the cookie. So that is the shortest path to the cash. Number one is top producing realtors. Not the whining, sniveling, complaining, jelly donut eating, mediocre, bottom feeding realtors that, you know, couldn't send you a deal that was qualified if their life depends on it. That's not going to be the kind of partner that you want to align yourself with. Sure, if they happen to finally get some momentum down the line, by all means, you can start rolling out the golden glove, white car the, the red carpet, golden glove service for them. But at this stage in the game, if they don't got anything going on, you might as well just skip over them and focus on the top dogs. Otherwise, it's a bit like stepping over dollars to pick up dimes. It just doesn't make sense, does it? So top producing realtors, the most potently profitable source of business, period, when it comes to being a strategic marketer in your business and looking at how can I get maximum juice from the squeeze? But again, there's some prerequisites. We have to have a kick-ass unique value proposition that's compelling, not to you, but to them, right? In their perspective, not yours, because perspective is reality, right? They've got to see the unique value you bring, not just you. And you've got to be able to set it up. So literally, they need you more than you need them, where you're in the power position where you get to pick and choose who you work with, where you get to fire their ass in a heartbeat if they're not operating by your rules rules of engagement, your ROEs, as the military term is often used. So you want to be in that kind of position. To be able to do that, obviously, you need a full quiver of awesome to bring to the table. And again, that's why mortgage professionals hire us is to fill their quiver with a big ass stack, a buffet of awesome, so to speak. So that's the first lead source. Let's get into the second. Second lead source is happy clients. But of course, if you're a newbie, that's not going to help you much, right? But if you've been in this business for a while, you've got maybe 50 to 100 to 200 plus past clients. That's a brilliant source of not just refi business in a refi boom, not just purchase business in a purchase boom, but also referrals, referrals. Let me ask you this. Do you have a systematic way to turn your happy clients into red hot referrals? If the answer isn't emphatically hell freaking yeah, you're leaving a shit ton of money on the table. I'll tell you that right now. Because the absolute best source of business above and beyond a hot for what you got pre-sold, pre-qualified, -qual, pre pre-tenderized, pre-sold referral from a top producing realtor who's pre-sold on you before they even talk to you is a pre-sold hop for what you got referral from a happy client. I mean, think about it. What other source of business sends you better quality leads than that? There is no better source, right? I mean, they're already pre-cooked. You got that endorsement factor, right? Because they've been endorsed. You've been endorsed by a happy client. All of a sudden now it's like you walk on water, right? All of a sudden now it's like you just entered expert status. So instead of burning and churning through a bunch of crap leads that you purchase off the internet, instead of burning and churning through a bunch of unqualified chaff that you get off the internet, whether you buy them from a, a lead company or whether you're doing some pay-per-click advertising, you can be spending your time with hot, qualified, and very much ready to do business with you now clientele. But Doran, I don't have any past clients. Well, that's where you wanna be moving to the third lead source we're gonna be talking about in a moment. But until and unless you put a system in place to turn every closed deal you do into more repeat and referral business systematically, I guarantee you, you'll be leaving money on the table to your competitors who do. So that's another key system that we help our clients put in place is a system. That's the key word, system. 
The word system is an acronym. acronym. It stands for save yourself time, energy, money. And if you want to add S for systems, you can also say stress. Save yourself time, energy, money, and stress by virtue of having a systems-based business versus a you-based business versus flying by the seat of your pants and building a practice. You don't want to build a practice where you're tied to the office ball and chain. You want to build a business that sets you free. That's why you got in this business, is it not? To give you not just financial freedom, but time freedom to be able to do what you want, when you want, with whom you want, any time you want. How do you do that? You do it by building a systems-based business versus just a fly by the seat of your pants in reactionary mode business, which chances are is what you're doing right now. If you're anything like most mortgage professionals, that's how you operate. Constantly getting towed around by the electronic leash, AKA your smartphone. Some of y'all need to get a dumb phone just so you can stay focused and be productive for more than a nanosecond because you get a text here, you get an instant message there, you get a phone call there. But Doran, that's what I need to do business. Well, yeah, but if you're constantly a guinea pig on a guinea pig wheel in reactionary mode, how are you gonna get to your income goals and how are you gonna have time freedom? How are you gonna have a business that sets you free? Well, good question, Doran, I have no idea. Well, that's precisely why mortgage professionals hire us is to crack the code on how to actually build a business that sets you free versus enslaves you. And if you don't know what I'm talking about in terms of being enslaved, you should talk to some of your colleagues that do big business, maybe 50 million, 100 million a year in volume and see what their lifestyle is like. See how many vacations they take. See how much, how many times they're toned around by the electronic leash while they're on vacation. See how many hours a week they actually really work. And chances are it ain't that sexy. Chances are it's a bit of the gag reflex. Like that definitely ain't something worthy of emulation, right? All the stress. I mean, they're probably throwing back some vodka or tequila at the end of every day because they're so stressed out because that's just the way the cope just to make it through the day. But is that really what you want to live? Is that the life you want to live? Chances are that's not the dream life that inspired you to get in this business to begin with, is it? So we've got to build systems that allow you to get the best quality leads, the easiest to convert leads, the juiciest, the most highest commission per deal leads, the ones that are most likely to come back and do repeat and referral business, the ones that are most grateful, the ones that are least rate conscious and the least likely to shop you. Well, I'm here to tell you. The way you get those is by referral, referral from top producing realtors, referral from happy clients. But that doesn't happen by accident, as you are well aware. It happens by design. And when you have systems in place, it's like a referral generation machine. It works while you're not working. So once you put the system in place, you close a deal with excellence, you get that five star review and you're popping referrals like a freaking popcorn machine. They're just popping out of the woodwork because it's systems based versus you flying by the seat of your pants, you know, with your uh, fingers crossed, toes crossed, eyes crossed, hoping, wishing and praying. Maybe someone's going to send you a referral that probably is not going to work as well as a system. You know it and I know it. So that's the second best source of leads. Bar none is referrals from happy clients. Of course, repeat business with happy clients as well, but also referrals and referrals are often overlooked. Just sending an email out once a year asking for referral ain't going to cut it. Just having it in your email signature saying the best compliment is a referral from a happy client ain't going to cut it. You need an elegant, simple, powerful way to take it from a just mere idea to having them actually giving you the referral consistently and happy to do it, not feeling pressured, no commission breath, halitosis, just elegant and just a very flowy, friendly, connected way to be a blessing to people they care about because sharing is caring. There's a system that needs to be put in place for that. Otherwise, you're leaving it to happenstance. That generally doesn't work very well. Hope is great if you're in prison, right? Hope is great if you're in prison, but it doesn't make for a very good marketing plan, does it? We want to go beyond hope. We don't want you smoking the hope dope. We don't want you hoping. We want you knowing. And that's precisely why people hire us. The third lead source, the top three lead sources that are the most potently profitable for mortgage professionals. And that's just not a fad. That's just the immutable truth and will always be the truth. 
is lead source number three, beyond and behind realtors and happy clients. And that's your personal network. What is your personal network? Your personal network are people who know you, like, and trust you, and hopefully you know, like, and trust them. They're people that you might meet at your B&I, your networking events. They might be people that you know from as colleagues from previous careers. They might be people from church or from your you know, soccer team or your hockey team. They might be people that are you know, friends from school. When you drop your kids off to school, you've got all your kids' friends' parents that you're connecting with and building relationships with. You have a multitude of different communities that all overlap, that are all part of your personal network. The question is, are you being strategic in really being light in the darkness and being a difference maker and, and being a servant leader for those people and, and helping to either serve them or people they care about? If you don't have an effective way to make that overture, if you feel a little sheepish about making that overture, oftentimes what happens is you don't really make the overture because it feels so uncomfortable and awkward. I don't really want to put myself out there because I don't want them to think that I'm going to be that one of those sleazy Amway people or one of those MLMers or, you know what I mean? It's like all of a sudden we contract because we're afraid of what they might think and we don't really know how to do it in a way that's elegant and cool and connected. And so then we just don't do it. We just clam up. We put the brakes on. You may perhaps can relate to that. So we need to have an elegant, cool, friendly, and uh, very much relational way to make that overture and that allows you to use technology. So instead of you having to you know, pull out your phone book and do it one by one, alphabetical order, you know, the caveman style, which is often what's taught in these quote unquote mortgage marketing coaching programs, you wanna use technology to be able to reach out to them to start the conversation in a real cool connected way and then be able to get them on the phone and elicit referrals and to be able to do that in a way where you're having fun, you're smiling ear to ear, you're feeling great, you have great energy. They feel your great energy, they wanna be part of it and they wanna either do business with you or send you a friend or family member who needs your help. How do you do that? Well, that's precisely why smart, ambitious, growth-minded mortgage professionals hire us is to crack the code on all those different components from your personal network to your happy clients to realtors. And again, not using caveman methods from the dark ages, just blindly picking up the phone and smiling and dialing. We're talking about technology that allows the cream to rise to the top. So all you have to do is grab your spoon and just scrape the cream off the top, right? Work with the responding people, respond to the responders, work with people who are hot for what you got. So that way you can take the shortest path to the cash instead of burning and churning and just flying by the seat of your pants and flailing around in the ocean, you actually have the most efficient technique possible to get maximum propulsion and get yourself to dream island faster, easier, with more fun, flow, and fulfillment. So there's a big difference between activity and productivity. Most people, they're just flailing, right? They're splashing around in the ocean, but they're not getting anywhere. They're just treading water. We want you to start to have technique and strategy that leverages elegant simplicity. So you're taking the least amount of strokes to propel yourself with flow and with power towards your dreams. So you can reach Dream Island without getting eaten by sharks or without you know, drowning by virtue of treading water in the same spot such that you, know, you just can't survive like that anymore. And 80% of people get chewed up and spat on this business in the first two years, truth be told. You can do your own research. The stats are the stats. 80% of people who get in this business get chewed up and spat out in the first two years. You don't want to be one of those statistics if you're a newbie. But unfortunately, a lot of newbies have delusional optimism. They're like, ah, I don't need all this fancy stuff, Dorn. I'm just going to, you know do what I do and I'll just kind of work a little longer, a little harder and I'll figure it out. I'll, I'll patch something together. You know, I'll jimmy something up. I'll grab my duct tape. I'll see if I can strap some wings on this thing and make it fly. And that kind of person is usually the first to get chewed up and spat out because it doesn't matter how optimistic you are. If you had an East looking for the sunset, we got a freaking problem, right? It doesn't matter how optimistic you are. If you're heading to the gunfight with a butter knife, we got a freaking problem. So it's not enough just to be optimistic, 
we got to get you armed and dangerous. You're rolling out the freaking tank at the gunfight, not just wielding the butter knife with optimism, right? We got to make sure you're heading west to see the sunset, not heading east. Otherwise, all a matter of motivation and optimism is not going to help you. And the clients we work with are the clients who realize it's going to be a whole lot more expensive to learn from their own mistakes than to learn from an expert. It's going to be a whole lot more expensive to step on their own landmines unwittingly because they don't know that they're there versus having a roadmap versus meandering in the wilderness unarmed and naked without a plan, without a GPS. That's not going to bode very well. You know it and I know it. So if you're listening to this right now and you're like, Dorn, I'm picking up what you're putting down. I feel you. I need help when it comes to how to crack the code with these top producing agents. They're not giving me the time of day. I'm wasting my time. They're giving me all these BS smoke screens. I don't know how to overcome them. I don't really have a unique value proposition that gives them a compelling reason to work with me versus all the other Joe Schmo LOs out there. I need some you know, method, some secret sauce to be able to have some kick-ass value to bring to the table so I can flip that script, but I don't know how to do it. I don't want to waste my time trying to figure it out on my own. I know this is not an easy thing to crack the code on. I know I can't solve this just by watching some free YouTube videos, listening to some free podcasts, and reading some free blogs. I know if it was easy, everyone would be fit, rich, and happy. Most people are fat, broken, unhappy. Why? Because it takes something to be extraordinary. You need an extraordinary strategy. You can't just have extraordinary willpower. You can't have just extraordinary motivation. You need extraordinary strategy. You need an extraordinary battle plan. If you want to win, you can't afford to just wing it. You know, as the saying goes, people who you know, fail. They don't plan to fail. They simply fail to plan. And the same goes here. So if you're, if you're that person who's defiantly committed to winning in this business, you're either a newbie or a veteran, but you know that you've got a whole lot more potential in you than what you're currently generating in terms of results. And you're sick and tired of being sick and tired of doing it the hard way, burning and churning through a bunch of crap leads that don't convert or wasting your time spinning your wheels in the same spot with that glass ceiling over your head, right? If you're sick and tired of doing it the way you're doing it and getting it the way you're de- getting it, and you're ready to create a quantum leap breakthrough in your business, working smarter, not harder, and you'd like to have an expert in your corner to show you the pathway to prosper, then I invite you to book a complimentary breakthrough call where we will lift up the hood on your business. You'll either get on the phone with me or one of my consultants. We will lift up the hood on your business. We'll look at what's working in your business right now, what's not working, where are you now, and where do you want to take it? And if we can help you bridge that gap, we'll show you what that looks like. If we can help you create a breakthrough, we'll show you what that looks like. If not, we'll be the first to advise you to pass on our services. Either way, though, you will leave that meeting with massive value, massive clarity, and chances are we'll have some fun. So if that sounds meaningful and worthwhile to you, and it definitely should, and you're a 100% commission mortgage professional in the residential market, and you're wanting to create a quantum leap, unprecedented breakthrough in your business, working smarter, not harder, go ahead and book a call, mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Obviously, I'm not making any, any promises that will be a good fit. I'm not making any promises that we'll even get into the details of all that we bring to the table. Because if we discern and decide that we're not the right fit, that's irrelevant. So we're going to have a real talk conversation. This is an honest conversation. This is not a sales pitch. I'll tell you right now, because if I have to sell you on creating a breakthrough, you're not ready for a breakthrough. If I have to sell you on you achieving your dream, you're not ready for your dream. So I'm not, we're not here to sell you anything. We're just here to shine the light of truth on your situation to see if we can help you. So if you're cool with that, you want to explore what we can do for you, book a call, mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. My name is Doran Aldana coming at you from the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. I hope you've been blessed and elevated and inspired by this conversation. I trust that now you've got more clarity than before on the shortest path to the cash to get you living a better life, the blessed life, your best life. And I also trust that you've got more inspiration, motivation, and education now by virtue of listening to this on how to take the shortest path to the cash, how to you know skip over all the good stuff so you can get to the great stuff. Skip over all the chaff and go straight to the kernels. Skip over all the gravel and go straight to the gold nuggets. There's no brownie points in the bank, friends, for doing it the hard way. 
So let's just take that shortest path to the cash. That's what I'm all about. And if that's what you're all about, we should definitely talk. So book a call, mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Talk to you soon. We'll see you on the next episode. Peace, y'all.